If you find yourself with a camera in your hand and want to learn how to use it, please subscribe to this channel, like the videos, comment below. Hey Photos Photographers, today we're talking about hot drinks. So what are the three tips of shooting a hot drink? Well, there's a lot of hot drinks to talk about. Um, and I don't know exactly why, but Almost all hot drinks have the same shooting style. I think partly because they're only coming from the aspect of hot, and then they showcase what specifically is different about it in those shots. It's a perfectly fine way of doing it, um, but I think it's going to take somebody a bit like the photographers we talked about that most influenced me and those that may have most influenced you um, to really make that kind of change, to make something a specific tea shot or a specific coffee shot um, or perhaps a specific uh, culture tea shot. I mean, we already have a lot of teas from Asia and, and they add the Asian props in there to showcase it, but uh, there's, there's not really much other than props to make it that specific tea as far as branding the shot for that specific product does that make sense um it's it i guess that's perhaps a little bit more of a business type mindset for branding a product um but i i wanted to draw that out because it's not um hot drinks are not as keyed into as the differences between beer and wine or sparkling grape juice, those sparkling drinks. So coffee, uh, tea, you get more breakup of how those items are prepared. And so the, the difference here, when you get a specialty drink at a coffee house, you'll see those pictures um, that coffee houses use specifically of how the barista is pouring the cream. Now, I personally don't like the process that gets the, the cream poured into the, the hot drink because a lot of people don't know what the barista goes through in those steps. Um, everybody wants to be able to do what the barista does, but um, either we're not paying attention to what the barista is doing behind the counter when we go order our coffee, or um, we know just enough that we miss the detail. Um, I'm not going to be getting into treating your coffee properly, <laughs> but, um, the same thing goes for tea and a lot of people just don't know it. Um, perhaps a lot of baristas are not properly trained in how to do that, but I do want to point out that when a barista does a cream pour to give you a specific design in the, uh, cup top, so I, I will please carefully listen here. Um, the barista pours a warmed cream into the hot coffee and does a specific pour so that it creates a cream um, area on top. And then as the, the cream pour is moved, it draws the other parts of the top of the coffee into the, the massive area of the pour. So that way you get your uh, coffee house specific design of leaf or you get a heart or whatever the shape is, specifically how the pour is made into the coffee cup. So when that type of shot is made, it's not going to be showcasing the steam, it's not going to be showcasing the uh, specific roast of coffee bean, it's not going to be showcasing much of anything, it's just going to be showcasing the... Um, barista's work in the cup so that that is key and important to realize that if you're doing that shot you need to have the the roast bag label or something out there other than just the props of the beans and the cup and everything else um so that's tip number one make sure that your your uh shot is set up properly and that you add the elements that you need to into the shot to be able to sell the product that you're selling at that point um, 
if you're doing self-serve drinks and or or uh, wait staff will be pouring the the drinks then most of the time you're getting enough of a shot over the lip of the cup into the cup itself to see oh that's tea or that's coffee but the the most important aspect of those shots is to showcase this is a hot drink because it's not going to be refreshing if it's a cooled down hot drink or if it's a cold drink heated up does that make sense um i'm saying that if that, i'm asking if that makes sense uh, obviously it's going to make sense but um we as photographers want to be specific and clear in how we're shooting things to be sure that we are communicating this is a hot drink and it's that aspect of whether the drink is hot or cold and, and how we showcase that as to whether it will be perceived as refreshing and desirable. Um, and so when you do the shot for things such as, quote unquote, the self-serve drinks or the, the drinks to be served to you without the added attention of a barista pouring cream in and that sort of thing, um, you will want to make sure, number one, Key point to all of that is light your shot in such a way so that as you highlight the steam coming off the drink. Tip number three, it's tempting, but please don't showcase the cup that the coffee or the tea or whatever the other hot drink is. Maybe it's hot chocolate or apple cider. Don't showcase the cup it's in. Um, if the cup is, is showcasing the specific restaurant's logo, that's fine but you're not going to want to take away from whatever the, the item is that they're advertising. Perhaps you're shooting for a restaurant and the uh, ad that you're shooting is showcasing a free hot beverage with any um, dessert ordered. Is it, uh, that, that, that would be a good offer. And um, it would round out the the order and it would start to create a desire for those two things going together when those customers come back to that restaurant. So make sure that you still showcase the hot drink and and tie it down to specific, perhaps the restaurant wants to tie it specifically to coffee. Um, then any a free coffee with any pastry ordered would be very important so that if the restaurant weren't willing to um, offer a free tea that is clear in the photograph that it's a coffee offered of course that'll be done with the type too but you don't want the the picture to be misleading or uh, to appear to show some other product so those are our three tips uh, make sure that your shot style is is set up in a specific way if it's a barista style coffee that you're you're portraying you're more than likely not going to be able to cut, uh, capture the steam off that shot um i'm not saying you won't but more than likely you won't be able to um if it's a served drink or self-serve coffees you're going to want to make sure that you showcase the steam to to create that draw and and look at other things to see what might create that draw for i want to have that kind of drink or i want to have that drink um it might be more than just steam but the other and last tip is uh, it's tempting, but please don't draw attention only to the cup. You can draw attention to the logo that is on the cup if the, the restaurant has their logo on the cup. Um, not very many of them do. It's, it, they, they can put their logo other places. So perhaps it's a napkin they had their logo on. But um, be sure that whatever else is in the photograph, you don't draw attention away from the hot drink. Thank you so much for watching. We look forward to seeing in the comments how this content has added value to your photography. And we uh, look forward to your thumbs up as well as uh, you have, uh, how well you have liked this video. Uh, I guess we, we kind of tie a thumbs up to that. Um, but uh, if, if this really did add value to your photography and you want to add a comment, we would love to have a thumbs up so that other people will uh, be uh, shown this video as well in, in their video feed. But if you're not yet a subscriber, we would love to have your subscription. Thank you so much, and God bless.